Oh, 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 that's so nice. Like that is actually the speed. Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today we're going to paint my son's Jeep. Right now, he's cleaning off all the dust from where we sanded down the old paint job. We're doing that with mineral spirits. And then we're gonna start taping off all of the exterior so we don't get any overspray. And once everything's taped off, we'll be ready to spray. Now we're not actually painting it. Let me show you the product we're using. Most of you have probably heard of this. It is Raptor Bed Liner. Raptor Tough Protective Coating. But it is, I think, primarily used on truck beds because even on the box, it says this is enough for an eight foot long truck bed in this one kit. And the kit cost around $170. I talked to a few people who have done bed liners before and they said they weren't thrilled with the results of the spray can bed liners. It's worth spending the extra money on this system, so I decided to do it. Now, you can't use a regular spray gun because your typical paint spray gun has a fine nozzle and this sprays out of a nozzle that big. Kind of hard to see, but that's like a quarter inch diameter at least. And this gun with this draw rod is specifically designed to screw onto those. It's Raptor branded. So I think it was $30 for the gun. I'm just gonna use their system all the way through. If you follow my channel, you already know the story of everything we're doing here. But in case you're just a Jeep lover and you stumbled across the video, I bought this Jeep for my son for $5,000. It's a 1999 TJ, six cylinder, automatic with a hard top. It doesn't look too bad, but it needs quite a bit of work. Anyway, I need to stop talking and get to work. While we're working on that, we're at the same time going to be working on the dash. I hate these interiors that these Jeeps had. Mainly, I hate this brown. So some of the middle pieces were this kind of matte black or a, a darker gray, but the majority of it is this brown or tan color. So we're gonna paint all of this to a, a new clean black. And we've got some special paint products for that, but it's gotta be clean. So first thing we're gonna do is wash it with soap and water. Then we're going to clean it with acetone. And then we've got some adhesion promoter. So first thing though, soap and water. So now we have all of the parts that we could remove from the dash. And all of these were washed in soapy water. Now, we're going to clean them with mineral spirits to get them completely clean and dry. And there are a couple pieces that have scratches in them, like this. I want to try to take some of those scratches out just by hand with some sandpaper. And I'm actually going to pass this job off to you and finish the taping. We pretty much have everything taped up. You can see there's a little bit of black paint already. I'm afraid I'm gonna have a hard time shooting that, that Raptor bed liner up under. So I went ahead and hit that with a can of spray paint. It's actually a Duplicolor rust barrier that I've been using on some of the undercarriage. And I've hit those spots with that just cause they're going to be hard to hit with the other spray gun. We got all of our taping done over here, all along here. We still have to cover the dash, but we're going to do that with a roll of plastic. Then we got to cover the shifter. But all of this is taped up. Actually, we still need a piece of paper over the windshield, but we've got the rest of this ready to go. Very amateur job because I've never done this before. So it's been two days since I recorded the intro and we started the process of getting this Jeep painted. And it's been a great experience for me because my son, who's 18, has taken an enthusiasm to the work we're doing here. He's got really excited about remaking this Jeep from something that was the best we could afford into something he can really be proud of. 
And that father-son time where we both have an enthusiasm for the project is fantastic. So, I've got some products that he doesn't yet know about that are really going to kind of take the look to the next level. And this is what we came up with. The mirror is just a mirror, right? But this swivel part is pretty nice. It's got a lot of adjustability and you can lock it in and, and mount it in different spots. But the reason I like these is this die cut American flag on the back and the fact that if he gets these adjusted where he wants, he can take the door off without readjusting and still have his visibility. So we had to buy some mirrors anyway. I thought, why not get him some cool mirrors that make the vehicle unique and really stand out? The next solution is for those grungy seats. They are so stained and, and gross. And with changing the color of the Jeep interior, that brown doesn't make any sense. So we started looking at options for seats and seat covers. And we ended up going with a premium seat cover. These are from Seat Covers Unlimited. All of the different lines they have are specifically fitted to your vehicle. And I'll show you how these go on later. But these are a premium seat cover. And the style we picked is called Leatherette. And this is not just like a cloth seat cover. It's really thick. It's foam padded. And you've got tie down points that go in between the seat pieces and, and lock it in place. They told me that these are going to feel like you've got a new seat, not like you have a seat cover on. Now with those, that's the bottom section for the back seat. This is the upper section for the back seat. Then we've got the same thing for each of the front seats. These are so thick and heavy duty. And then they've got the pockets built into the backs. Just feels like a quality product. Gage was literally jumping up and down when he saw it just with the bed liner. Wait till he sees these seat covers. He's eating dinner right now, then he's got like an hour of homework, and then he's going to be out here to help me finish, and then I'm going to surprise him with this stuff. A couple other little things I got was a license plate cover and a matching steering wheel cover. Now this more fire red is going to be what we paint the exterior of the Jeep. We're planning to do that in March. Then I got one more, and this one really worked out well because I already had this being shipped when we took the hard top off for the first time, and we had to cut all the bolts off with a reciprocating saw to even get the top off. They were all completely rusted and stripped. Half of them were missing. It was a mess, and one section of the hard top is broke because of it. So these are a premium tie-down point from Rockworks. So if you've ever had a Jeep, you know they've got that big Torx bit that you have to, to run down on each spot. And a lot of times you lose the nuts and different things. The later models have those nuts, I think, permanently attached, but on mine they're not. So these are a sweet replacement for a few reasons. One, it's got this knurled, gnarled, larger section that you can get enough grip on that you can put these in without any tools, which is really handy. And the second thing is this raised area where you've got this little opening. They have a an attachment system that lets you use a series of different straps to make like a, a cargo net across the back or to strap different things down so that you can actually use the back of the Jeep to haul your equipment or whatever you've got back there. So the cheaper stuff, like, like this stuff, I just picked this up at O'Reilly's. The rest of it was sent to me to feature on the Jeep build. You guys know how the content creation things work. I get offered free stuff all the time, and most of it I turn down. Now these products, I actively sought out that I wanted a premium seat cover, contacted the company, said, I love your products. Can you send one out for me to show on the channel? Same, same thing with this product and the mirrors. Those are products that I wanted, just sent the company an email. But I want to disclose to you that I did not pay for them. Inside of the Raptor kit, we've got four bottles like this. You need to use them quickly after you mix them, so you don't want to mix more than one at a time. So we're going to take the lid off this. 
Wow, that stuff is thick. It's like a sludge. And we've got a hardener here. And this line's marked at 8 ounces. We're going to add 8 ounces of hardener per bottle. And we got to shake this up for a couple minutes. In the meantime, I've turned down the airflow on the air compressor to about 50 pounds. It says 40 to 60. And I've got plenty of hose pulled out so that I've got slack while I'm painting. Now we're going to put the Raptor sprayer, screw it onto the bottle. It says, don't over tighten the lid. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never used this before and I don't want to mess it up spraying it on something that I don't get a second chance at. So, Gage just was spraying all the interior and the dash stuff and learned a lot. So hopefully I don't have much of a learning curve with this. Okay, we we have done three coats and normally I would think I would leave all this masking on for, until the paint's dry, but I was just on a forum and it was a Jeep forum and the people on there were saying that you should take it off right away before that bed liner gets hard and it could be hard to get the tape off. So I guess we're going to do it. You know what? I need to clean this before I tape it off. And we're almost done with this painting and I started to just get in a hurry, but all of this needs cleaned off first and I don't want to mess up the tape while I'm doing it. So get some rags and some gloves and some acetone.
Okay, so he read the instructions here. He's going to tell me what I'm doing wrong, but I guess we just put the top part on first. It no. doesn't matter. You put the bottom on first? Yes. That's okay. I guess you set up the bottom. So the seat cover goes all the way through the seat. I think there's like a... You get this probably down first. Um, it was a little bit of a fight to get it through there, but you, you take this and you push the bottom flap through, then you push the side flap through, you kind of work this lever right here through a slit, and once you get it through, all three sides Velcro on tight, then you got straps that come under the bottom, and those Velcro on. So, pretty, pretty good and tight on the bottom now. Once you've got it all in place, then it's got strings here that go through loops. So you're looping to the front of the top section and the back of the top section. And then we're going to pull down and tie off the slack and then cut the excess. Absolutely loving the seat covers. It feels like a leather seat. It fits really tight. It was hard to get it stretched on. And then once it's locked in place, you know, a little bit of heat will loosen it up a little bit. But man, that is a huge improvement. Our next product is the Rocksworks bolt-on hardtop kit. And we've already taken the hardtop on and off with this, and it is fantastic. If you've ever crawled up into the back seat with tools to deal with this and take this off, you know what a hassle it is. And for these, you just spin it on like this, and I can just reach them from the outside. I don't have to crawl up in the vehicle. I get plenty of torque just with my hand turning it like that and it's locked down. Then we've got some other accessories that incorporate with these knobs. And besides all of that and the convenience, it just looks nicer, it's, it's custom. I just think they're really cool. And the idea to leave this gap in here for, for those hooks is pretty clever. This is all high quality products. Like these are really thick and heavy duty and it's got a spring clip and you just take it like this, and push it on. Now we're locked on. We lock the other side onto the other side. And this is how you can strap down cargo. And just zip it down. So if you like spending most of the summer with your top off and you packed all your camping gear, or in his case, his baseball gear or whatever, this is a good way to do it. We've got another setup just like that, but this is more of an advanced rig. It's got all these like little holders, but you can lock down anything you want with this system. This is pretty ingenious to just use what you've already got and kill two birds with one stone. All right, so here are the mirrors I was already talking about. Love the die cut American flag in the back, but that is aesthetic. As far as practicality, what I like is that you can use the same mirror with the doors on or off. Or previously, you had a, a mirror for when the doors are off, and then you had to switch, and we didn't have a secondary mirror. The dash being repainted has turned out great. Loving the seat covers. These floor mats were pretty high quality. We trimmed them a little bit. They're a motor trend floor mat. We, we still might do something better for blocking out the heat. But very happy with all these results so far. We've still got a few more things to do, like putting the seat belts in. But this has been an awesome little father-son project. And I can't wait to finish the rest of the Jeep. So anyway, I appreciate you guys taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.